Welcome back to Control. We've just destroyed this thing, which is the second thing out of four things that we should need to do to repair the nail. Uh, this is right where we left off, so it looks like if we continue forwards, we'll go back to the crossroads. And then it sort of looks like there's something, like a pathway from this chamber to over here, but there isn't. It's There's nothing there. It, I guess it must be accessed from the crossroads itself. And then, of course, also back uh, transit access on the map just south of us. That's that elevator which can take us somewhere. I don't know if I should try to go there yet or not. It's easy enough to get to it from that checkpoint back there. So, for now, let's just go forwards. Yeah, more symbols. There's the foundation symbol and the arrow sort of thing. Right, that's how we originally got into that place. <laughs> Trying to make sure there's no other places that I can get to now that I couldn't before. God, I just want to float out there, but I think we know what would happen. Must have been an Easter egg, right? Just like the other cat we found at the fire break. Is there anything else up here? This isn't where I came into the crossroads, is it? No. Can't be. Because it's one of these things. Oh, right. I also got to remember that now I have both abilities, which means I can also get to a bunch of places that I couldn't before. Hee 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 hee. So this should just lead back to the warehouse. I don't know. Let's just follow this. Launch health recovery. Should check. Although it was a lower level. It's this, right? 8%? 8% versus 18%? Yeah, no thanks. Oh, this doesn't go anywhere. It's caved in. I really can't fit through there? Yeah, alright. Wall. Let's go see if we can say anything new to Emily. The rangers found a section of the containment sector in the caves. But no house shifts occur down here. Strange. 
Nothing new. But just nice to see Emily. I should get back out there. Agreed. The astral bleed won't stop itself. Oh, that's what leads to this question mark in here. That's why I couldn't get there before. Because I need to destroy it. Well, since that's where I have to go, let's go to places I don't have to go. Let's go back and find all the places that I couldn't reach because I didn't have that ability. It's the first place I found, next to the cave bleed. Okay, I found the next place to investigate. Back here, near the cave system. First though, I just realized I have nine ability points. Not that it really matters. I guess I'll get tons of melee damage. Oh, can't get any more. Yeah, I need to, oops, uh, I need to get up to the higher points in the cave system. And I could do that but just by teleporting to that one place that I already, uh, the control point that I've claimed up there. But I can also go this way. And I don't remember if I went this way before, did I? Is this even high enough to get me there? No, oh, just barely. Yet, yeah, I think I have been here. Right, and this place just doesn't lead anywhere. Oh no, it does lead somewhere. Yeah. But then I need a passcode or something to get in there. Hey, wait a minute. New mission, just from coming in here? Use the altered item to escape the chasm. Ooh. It's terrifying. Pitch black. Christ, it's down there. Okay. Um, why couldn't I get in here again? Oh, just uh, no particular reason, just locked by some means. I guess I'll go here now, why not? Surprisingly, melee attacks don't break the stone. Here we go. I can't see a thing. Maybe I should have thought this through. Yeah. fighting back. God, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Footage of Ahti. So cool looking. The light. Another TV. not right in front of them, they can't see it, then they start coming for me. Ok, 
Come here, Ahti. I think I need you for my light, actually. God, that is such a cool light. Not only dynamic light, but also dynamic, like, projection light. Like, projecting an image. Don't drop the TV. Yeah, will it do anything for that? It's keeping it at bay, isn't it? Ooh, okay. Why am I getting combat music? Oh, that shadow! Look at that! Oh god! No, 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 wrong button. <laughs> back until it regrows.
we're totally off the map. Um, okay, so there's this, and there's also another thing to break up there. Let's see where this goes first. I think this is a bonus place. Oops. No. Put it down, please. No. Don't face that way. Yes. Hey, there's a teddy bear over here. I gotta try shooting it just to see if anything happens, right? That music is freaking me out so much. God. I just got some new research. Astral Mimic? Still completely off the map. the way out. Up there. Back at the cell. <sighs> Thank God. Ah, it goes back in here. Ah. Let's see, what did we learn about that? We learned that's a loud-ass motorcycle outside. Astral Mimic. Astral Mimics are physically indistinguishable from astral copies, but considerably more dangerous due to the fact that they possess peri-utilitarian abilities. The most notable ability witnessed is levitation. Oh, right, it's the gray ones that we saw that were flying. It's unknown how this astral entity gained its paranatural abilities. The relevant objects of power are currently bound to Director Faden, which indicates the objects are not responsible. However, objects of power are intrinsically linked to the board in the astral plane. A similar link between the objects and the mimics could also exist. Or perhaps the board is able to dispense these abilities at their leisure, with no trial in the astral plane required? The prevailing theory, however, is that the entities are simply replicating observed abilities performed by the Hiss or even the director herself, thanks to a prolonged exposure to our world caused by the astral bleed. VHS tape procedures. Item has proven impossible to fully contain when in proximity of human beings. It's a VHS tape cassette. Item will not eject from the television player used at the time its altered status became evident. 
The VHS plays footage of Entity A001, which is Ahti, cleaning a floor and dancing. <laughs> the footage renders individuals incapable of movement, speech, or thought while a television screen is within view. This effect is estimated to last indefinitely, though the most time spent in this state by a test subject is 21 hours. Individuals only recollect hearing strange music during their entranced state. Footage plays on a constant loop even when the television is not connected to a power source. Even when the television and its footage are contained within an enclosed cell with no window, agents in proximity have been driven to open and enter the cell by the item's entrancing nature. Ah, these are things we've already listened to, America Overnight. Yeah. Now after I complete every side quest, I'm like, ooh, I wonder if we can talk to Emily about this. Crystals, cave paintings, rust-filled sand. Hey, this place is a research gold mine. I should get back out there. Agreed. The astral bleed won't stop itself. Now let's explore. Starting from the upper cave system, just teleported to this point that we got a while ago. Do you think I can kill it if I get it stuck on this thing? Oh yeah, I got it. Whoa. I don't... I'm not sure if I've been in here before. I don't think so. There you are. Ooh. Hold on, I wanted to get some hits in so I can heal. I'm not shooting a very useful thing to shoot. Who's left? Hmm. I want to make sure there's no notes here or anything. Probably not. two pathways. Uh, that leads to research site Gamma. This leads back around to, like, around the beginning? Ooh. I have not been here, apparently. Non-official correspondence. Adventure accepted. 
Dearest Mr. Talbot, my heartiest congratulations for achieving something that few others have. Consider my curiosity thoroughly yours. For who wouldn't be intrigued when the United States government claims to need an expert spelunker to explore the depths of a cave the likes of which no man has ever seen? A subterranean channel beneath the very heart of New York City is fascinating in and of itself. I've explored every cave system from Kentucky to Kothamandu, but a formation below America's own Big Apple is a welcome surprise. You are certainly building grand expectations. Do not let me down. I have decided to come see this mystifying cave myself. My assistant will be in touch with the details of my arrival. As requested, I will avoid making an announcement to the press, but I cannot guarantee that my travels will slip past their notice. The world is always waiting for word of Robert Ricardo's next grand endeavor. Such is the burden of a globe-trotting man of adventure such as myself. Such is the way of adventure. Keep exploring, Bob Ricardo. Didn't... Didn't they die? I remember something mentioning, like, we shouldn't be bringing in consultants to come down here and just die on all this weird shit that nobody understands. And they mentioned a spelunker, so I think that was them. 41 days since entry day, the name of our historic arrival to the oldest house. Morale is long dead, and its corpse is starting to smell. My research staff complain of a presence watching them. Many have suffered nervous fits. Some were evacuated. Interior news, I've made some new friends. I met them while exploring the deeper caves. They're hard to describe, but imagine avant-garde sculptures of humans. I call them the id. They aren't hostile. In fact, they're polite and quiet, which is more than I can say for my colleagues. Most id are shy, but a few were quite curious. While I sat taking notes, one came to look at my sketches. I offered him my pencil, but that spooked it. What are the id? Residents? Prisoners? They remind me of the golems from Kabbalistic texts, or a type of homunculi. I know I shouldn't, but I gave them names. There's Hercules, Adam, Lilith, Copernicus, Mabel is the bravest. They're a funny bunch. Interesting. They attack me, those gray sculptures of people. They attacked me, but they weren't dangerous back then, or at least they weren't dangerous to Ash? What changed? Or am I just special, and they wouldn't attack other people, generally? So, that was a big loop. Of course, I chose to go this way instead of towards research site Gamma. So I guess that's where I'd want to go if I wanted to go to research site Gamma. Well, let's head back to that upper spot and go to the other upper spots. Because we just went forwards. Yeah, there's this. Cavern. Yeah, I guess I haven't been there, huh? And there's something up there, too. I forgot, can I reach that from here? Uh, yeah, I can get high enough. Oh, this is their request backup. I'm good. I don't want to get anyone else killed. Fireworks. It's very dark in here. Oh, 
a little close. Wait, this was... This was Research Site Gamma? But that's south of me. Isn't that the one I just got rid of in the, the quests? Or advanced, rather? Complete the ritual in the deep cavern. And it got rid of the one in Research Site Gamma. Interesting. I don't know why. Hmm. There's the etching. That's different. I need to break them off, don't I? sort out their own business so long as it doesn't get in my way. Obsessing over these problems is something Trench would do, but I've got my intuition. And you? I'm still worried about it. This is the upper bleed place that I could never reach. Yeah. 
And it looks like there's some secret stuff up here. There's an invisible wall. Hmm. I was thinking of getting up there, but now I'm not sure if I could. Gotta try though, right? Let's see if I can get on one of these rocks. Or actually, let's see if I can get here. Uh oh, there's a wall. No. <laughs> Because your family has anything to say. If it isn't my favorite direct, the nail is almost repaired. You really do have a knack for this kind of work. Any progress with the nail? Of course. I've been busy with surface analysis. Its composition is remarkably similar to that of material found in the astral plane, but it alters itself between my observations. It's almost as if it doesn't like being examined. So the nail is from the astral plane? Not necessarily. See, if we assume that, we're suddenly facing a lot of new questions. How did something so large get out of the astral plane? How did it get inside the oldest house? Did a threshold bring it in? Did people? Maybe through the motel. Maybe it was always here. Hmm. Doubtful. Have you spent any time looking into the crystals growing around here? As if I could resist. The biggest question is where it comes from. A threshold? Or is it native to the Foundation? But if so, why doesn't it grow in the rest of the oldest house? The fact that they return to an earlier state when damaged is severely inconsistent with our reality's adherence to linear time. So either they're A, partially conscious, or B, organic elements that are foreign to and yet influenced by our dimension. The jury's still out. Have you learned anything about the crystals? I have a power that lets me stretch them. Huh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Any idea what Marshall would be doing down here? That information is on a need-to-know basis, Faden. <laughs> Sorry, I can resist. But honestly, I never had much interaction with Marshall. She only came to me when she was looking for Darling. But this is Helen Marshall we're talking about, the woman who single-handedly dealt with the Bergen Peak AWE. If she's down here, it's because she needs to be. Well, clearly she couldn't handle this one on her own. I'll see you later, Emily. Good luck. Take notes. Don't be a stranger. So, back in here, uh, instead of going that way, let, oh, oh, actually it didn't lock me in here this time. Let's go towards Research Site Gamma. building standing there for anyone to see but no one does how do we miss it northmore acting director in northmore now is on a train from washington wait he'll expect we've heard this before making these tapes their evidence that i'm at least trying to oh this is where we entered this place from 
Yeah. Oh. Well, then I guess let me just check real quick and see if, like, this little thing over here is a place I couldn't get to before and can now break through. This little nub that I see on the map. It's not. Oh, it's this. Uh. Right. Oh. Not high enough. Check out this top one. This place, from the crossroads, I've been to the other side of this, but there's no way to get to the top. Just this taunting me up here. Just a shifting fragment, so it's not really anything interesting. And then this just leads back to the crossroads? Actually, no, this goes to the cave bleed. Where exactly is this? Have I, have I actually been here? Not here specifically. Yeah, I, I think that's pretty much everything as far as like going over old places that I hadn't fully explored. I think it's just to here now. To the canyon rim. So I hope you've enjoyed so far and when I return we're going to the canyon rim. See if we can fix the nail.